All right. We are live. We are live again. We are live. We're waiting for the live video is starting. You know, Facebook is going like this. It's going around. There it is. We are live. Something that I used to say a lot <laughs> back when. Uh, in any event, hello everybody. Uh, this is April with Stress Relief for Teachers. A uh, community on Facebook for educators, for everybody, you know, who's having some stress difficulties, you know, emotional difficulties. And I dedicate my time creating content and, you know, some good tips and information to help you relieve all these emotional difficulties. And it's corroborated, you know, it's, it's medical science fact that a lot of the issues that we have are all emotional. So today I want to talk about, you know, eliminating physical pain, reducing that physical pain to zero, pretty much. So today we're doing the TFT, the Thought Field Therapy, Physical Pain Algorithm. And TFT, or Thought Field Therapy, and its founder, Dr. Roger Callahan, you know, achieved worldwide recognition and acceptance and use back in the early 1980s with a 70 to 80% success rate. Now, TFT tapping is a brief, effective psychotherapy for the rapid, natural healing of negative emotions and improved mental health. TFT also uses specific tapping sequences and algorithms. You know, EFT is like an all-in-one TFT uses specific tapping algorithms. So TFT has a tapping, uh, has key tapping differences with EFT. The first key difference is the psychological reversal spot. Or in EFT, they call it the karate chop. It is the same exact spot called the karate chop right here at this point in EFT. And EFT uses it in the same process, in every process. The PR spot in TFT is used when progress has stalled, you know, and the client needs to get unstuck due to the energy blocks. And then the gamut series is used in every procedure with TFT as part of the process, okay? It is also used to end the session with a simple process of looking down, rolling your eyes, and then all the way up to the ceiling. And finally, TFT does not require the client to speak out loud their setup statement. You know, in EFT we say, and we speak the words, even though, and then the problem that they're feeling, I completely and deeply love and accept myself. Well, with TFT, you focus on the problem, you know, and you keep it to yourself, unless you want to voice that out with your practitioner, which is okay as well. But Roger Callahan, Dr. Roger Callahan felt that when the client focuses on their, you know, uh, emotional pain, physical pain, you know, that the impact is more direct because it's you and your brain talking to each other. Now, physical and, you know, emotional issues, they arise on a daily basis, okay, with varying degrees and consequences. This algorithm will remove the emotional element from the physical pain, reducing the overall level of pain when applied. Now let's eliminate your physical pain and let's get you feeling awesome. Now please note, when doing EFT tapping on your own, if you aren't able to completely heal the issue you're working on, I recommend working with an experienced EFT master practitioner. If you decide that this is the best course of action for you and you'd like to work with me, you know, there's a link below. In the PDF file, there's a link as well and in the YouTube video. So schedule a session or a free, you know, talk to me session, you know, because that's all it is. We're going to have a conversation and we're going to talk about how we can help you relieve that emotional distress. So let's get to tapping. 
Now, the first thing that I like to do with all my clients is I like to take three minutes to do a heart activation meditation. You know, this meditation audio is available as well, and if you want it, please ask for it, and I'll, I'll happily send it to you. And what we're doing is, you know, we are focusing on gratitude, love, compassion, you know, happiness, as we focus on our breathing over a three-minute period and express this gratitude because when we get our heart regulated at a higher emotional level, you know, that puts us in the right state of mind and the right physical state as well so that you start your tapping and you gain great results. So you want to start off when you, when you finish with the three, you know, minutes of the HAP, you want to take an unforced deep breath and, and deep down to your diaphragm. And you want to pause, and then you want to just go ahead and, and release it. And then we'll get to tapping. So, in order for this technique to be effective, you must focus on the specific physical pain you have. Is it a migraine headache? Is it a shoulder injury and you still feel it, or maybe in the back of your shoulder? You know, is it a pain in your knees or in your, or in your hips, in your pelvis? in your stomach, wherever that pain is, you want to focus that internally. And please feel free to ask me for the physical pain algorithm PDF that I also provide, you know, to my private community, stress relief for uh, teachers and anyone, or ask me directly and I would be more than happy to send that to you so that you can have it and you can go ahead and practice the algorithm to get rid of this pain. And once we focus on it, you want to rate this intensity, the, the degree of pain that you feel for the first time, you want to rate that on a scale of negative 10 to zero. Negative 10 being extreme, you know, and then of course zero being, you don't feel that pain as much. And this is called the SU scale, the subjective units of experience scale. So as you do the first rating, write it down. It's so important that you write it down so that you can have a benchmark you know, to compare as you do the subsequent rounds, okay? So now we're gonna get ready to tap, and what you wanna do is you wanna focus on your pain and use your fingers, you know, to tap the following points. I always like using two fingers, and you can use either hand, whatever your dominant hand is. Some people use four fingers, you know, but I like using the two fingers, okay? And you're gonna start in your PR spot, your psychological reversal spot, which is your karate chop. And as you focus on your pain, you're going to tap that, you know, 10 to 15 times. And once you're done tapping that, then you're going to go to your gamut spot. And we're going to tap that 50 times. And your gamut spot is right here. Okay? Right in between the little finger and the ring finger. And you're going to tap that 50 times. And this is a great way to get that painful feeling going down as you focus on your pain. You know, and you're just going to breathe naturally. You know, don't force it. And you're just going to keep tapping. And while tapping, you know, you just breathe in and out deeply. Don't force your breath. Feel gratitude towards your body and thank it for letting you know when it doesn't feel well. It's a really good thing to do. Have that gratitude with your, with your own body. Then you stop, and we're going to go to the collarbone. Now you go to the hole in your neck, about an inch, an inch and a half to the right. And then you're going to tap that 10 to 15 times. Just tap it away. And then we're going to go now to the nine point gamut series. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is where we do something really cool. This is where we actually now start to, you know, speak to our brain and get our brains involved in this tapping algorithm, okay? So you want to start with, again, this is your gamut point, and what you want to do first is, as you start to tap, you want to close your eyes, and then you want to open your eyes and keep your head centered, and then you want to look down hard left, bring your eyes back and centered, down right, down hard right, Bring them back up and centered. Then you're going to roll your eyes clockwise. Center them. You're going to roll your eyes counterclockwise. Center them. 
Are you gonna hum happy birthday? A couple of bars. Now you're gonna count one to five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna come backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you're gonna hum one more time. And then you're gonna stop. Take a deep breath. And pause it. And then just let it out unforced. Now you're gonna take a second rating. You're gonna rate the degree of pain that you feel. So if you started on a scale of, you know, negative 10, and you started with a rating of eight, negative eight, as intense, you know, pain, now you're gonna take your second reading. It might have gone down one point, it might have gone down two points, but you write that down. And that's important because now you get to see progress as to how this physical pain that you're feeling is starting to feel less painful. And then we move on to step number four. And step number four is repeating a second round of tapping. And we start off again, and we're going to start with the gamut button spot. And you're just going to tap this 50 times as you focus on the problem as you focus on your pain, you know, as you thank your body for letting you know that you have this pain and feel gratitude and be like, you know, I appreciate knowing that I have this pain and, and this pain is gonna go away, it really is. And you just go ahead and tap that out. And after about 50 taps, you know, what you wanna do is now, you wanna move to your collar and again, from the middle of your neck, where the hole is, about an inch, an inch and a half to the right. And you're gonna tap that about 10, 15 times. Now, you get to stop. Now, if your SU score went down to like a negative one or a zero, where you really feel very little pain or no pain at all, then you're gonna finish with a floor to eye roll. And literally, what you're going to do is you're going to center your head and you're just going to look straight down and you're going to raise your eyebrows, I mean your eyes, slowly over five to seven seconds as you reach the ceiling and you go all the way up to the ceiling and then you bring your eyes down and center them and then that's it. You are finished. Now, on occasion, even if you're feeling and still feeling a little bit of pain or less pain, one of the things you can do is rub on your sore spot. And on the PDF, I have a diagram of where your sore spot is. And it's usually, you go down from your neck down about three inches and then you go over to the right about four inches on either side, of course. And you rub that sore spot, and that's usually where all your stresses collect, you know. This is where your lymphatic nodes are, you know, this is where the cortisol, you know, starts to hide, and you'll feel a little sore, and as you rub it, what you're doing is you're dispersing all that negative energy out of there, you know, and that starts to relieve your pain as well. Now, you will know it as it feels tender, you know, you'll know that you're in the right place. You know, all that emotional tension just gets caught up right in here. So as you rub your sore spot, think about gratitude in your life. Small things, you know, like the air that you breathe or waking up in the morning where many people don't wake up or the happy feeling that you're experiencing because you started to feel less pain. And you rub a few more times and then you repeat the entire algorithm again. You repeat the full sequence until your SU level is down to a negative one, you know, a zero, which is really where you want to get. And then you stop. The session ends. And this normally will take you maybe about 10 minutes, you know, to focus on your well-being, on your emotional well-being. You know, so 
do this for you and something really amazing will happen after this, which is you will feel less pain. And you can continue to tap without hurting yourself, because it's not going to hurt you to tap yourself until you feel that your intensity drop to zero. Tapping again, and let me emphasize, this will not hurt you. It will just connect your heart to your brain. You'll have some coherence between the two so that you can start a healing process. Now, please share this information with anyone wanting emotional freedom uh, from physical pain. You know, and a lot of us deal with physical pain on a daily basis. You know, I'm a CTAA accredited EFT certified master practitioner. And I help people eliminate negative energies with a conversation and EFT tapping with 100%, you know, total regards and no judgments towards you. The emotional freedom techniques that I cover with people, among many, are anxiety, anger, physical pain, phobia, self sabotage. The goal of EFT tapping is to give people the mindset, the skills, and the techniques. Okay, of mastering their lives so that they can take charge and fill their lives with health, wealth, and abundance. I also help 10 people a month for free. And if you want to take advantage of that, I have a five-day workshop where I give you the step-by-step -step sequence so that you can have the basic recipe and tap your emotions out, your negative energies out. So ask for the uh, EFT Physical Pain PDF today. Oh, excuse me. And thank you for listening. I, I wish you guys a great day. You know, free yourself of that physical pain. It'll be the best thing that you can do. And stop using medication because we really don't need it. Our bodies are self-healing when we allow it to learn how to self-heal. This is a great opportunity to do that. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to answering your questions. Visit us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You guys have a great day and bye-bye.